In this video I'm going to tell you how many batteries you need for a 3000 watt inverter. The answer might surprise you, because most people get this wrong. Then I'll give you two examples for a lithium and a lead acid battery. I often see people using a 3000 watt inverter on a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery, which amazes me. No wonder the battery dies after half a year. I'm going to talk about the battery voltage and capacity, which are the most important factors when sizing your battery. In an off-grid solar power system, you should limit the current to 100 amps. This has several reasons and benefits. Reduced wire cost. Cheaper charge controllers. Higher efficiency. We can limit the current by increasing the voltage. That means that for each battery voltage, we can have a maximum inverter power range. These are, for a 12 volt battery, inverters up to 1000 watts. 24 volt battery, inverters up to 2000 watts. 48 volt batteries, inverters up to 5000 watts. If you want more power, use a 48 volt battery with inverters in parallel. I will calculate it for a 3000 watt inverter. We divide 3000 watts by 48 volts to become 63 amps. We then have to multiply by a safety factor of 125% to become 78 amps. We need to use an 80 amp fuse. This is under 100 amps, so this is ok. As already discussed, an additional benefit is that the charge controller current will be decreased, as you can see in the following calculation. 800 watts of solar power divided by a 12 volt battery equals 66 amps. We choose for a 70 amp charge controller. But with a 48 volt system, we can repeat the calculation and we will see that we only need a 20 amp charge controller. This will be much cheaper to purchase. Now the second part of the calculation is a term called C-rate. Every battery has a recommended C-rate. This is 0.2C for lead acid and 1C for lithium. This is a recommended charge and discharge current of a battery. For example, a 100 amp hour lithium battery should be charged and discharged at a maximum of 100 amps. Because 100 amp hours times 1C equals 100 amps. Let's repeat the calculation for lead acid. 100 amp hours times 0.2C equals 20 amps. We can see that the lead acid battery can deliver significantly less current. You can still pull 100 amps from a lead acid battery. But the battery won't last very long because heat will be generated and degrade faster. You also wouldn't be able to extract 100 amp hours because a lot of energy is lost in heat. Now back to the subject with an example for lithium batteries. We already know we need a 48 volt battery. Next, we need to calculate the current it will draw. 3000 watts divided by 48 volt equals 62.5 amps. This is under the recommended discharge rate of a 100 amp hour battery, which is 100 amps. We need to use a 48 volt 62.5 amp hour lithium battery. A 48 volt 100 amp hour server rack is an ideal example of a battery that is suited for a 3 kilowatt inverter. You can also use several batteries wired together, like four 12 volt 100 amp hours wired in series, or two 24 volt 100 amp hour batteries in series. There will be a link in the description to the lithium batteries I recommend. Now we will repeat the calculation for lead acid batteries. We start by doing the same calculations. 3000 watts divided by 48 volts equals 62.5 amps. One 100 amp hour lead acid battery with a C rate of 0.2C can deliver 20 amps. Next, we divide the battery current by 20 amps. 62.5 amps divided by 20 amps equals 3. We need 3 100 amp hour batteries for a total capacity of 300 amp hours, because 300 amp hours 
times 0.2c equals 60 amps. We need a 48 volt 300 amp hour lead acid battery to effectively power a 3000 watt inverter. This is three times the size than lithium and will weigh 1000 pounds compared to 110 pounds for lithium. A possible battery configuration is four 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries in series and then paralleled with two other strings for a 4S3P battery. Always charge batteries fully before connecting them together. For lithium, you need a 48 volt 100 amp hour battery, and for lead acid, you need a 48 volt 300 amp hour battery. Always respect the C rate of a battery to get the maximum lifespan. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you want more information like this. Are you confused about solar power? Get 7 free solar diagrams through the pinned comment below.